A common question I get is, Alex, what do you do if I don't want to buy a new trailer? How do I derate the trailer then? This video, that's what I'm talking about. So you are trying to be a smart consumer. You're trying to get into Hotshot maybe on a budget and you are looking at used trailers. Or maybe that's not you at all. Does it matter? You want to, your goal right now is to derate or downrate a used trailer or a new trailer maybe that you already registered, but your goal is now to downrate a trailer that has the improper sticker. That's what you wanna do. So here's what you need to do. You need to go on eBay, okay? Type in trailer, aluminum trailer VIN tag or aluminum trailer VIN plate. You type that into eBay and like a large one comes up. Now, I don't know who's selling these and you could probably go get it engraved or uh, somewhere cheaper. This is just one a solution that I, I, I think it can work. Okay, so go to eBay, order yourself that large VIN plate, give the seller your VIN, your desired GVWR, right? And your whatever else you need, correct? And so that will then, you know, a couple days later, you'll get that in the mail. And what you do is you peel off your sticker, you scrape it, you sand it, you peel off your sticker and you put your VIN plate there instead you could screw it in you could just put some tape on it and that'll be your solution how to derate that trailer now a couple of things about that solution a couple things about that method I should say so here's the thing right number one is I'm not telling you to do that I've never done it uh, I've just heard that's how people do it and I've also heard the same people they reported back to me and they said yeah we got inspections totally fine no issues at all so so take that with a grain of salt this isn't something I've done you have one chance to downright your trailer that's when you buy it brand new and that's your only alternative that's your only option I should say two is technically that GVWR isn't associated with that VIN number so if you if somebody were to call Big Techs about your trailer and say hey I have a trailer it has the aluminum VIN plate can you guys send me a copy of a VIN plate or the original VIN plate uh, or a VIN sticker they would say you a new VIN sticker with the 15.9 GVWR if you bought a not like a 14 GN trailer right so technically it doesn't really change it's just like but here's the thing DOT they don't do that okay now most of the time maybe they're watching this video and they will start doing it but I don't think it's big enough of a problem that they should really worry about it right so what happens is Technically, you are downrating your trailer. Technically, that GVWR is not associated with your VIN and can be disproven. However, that is unlikely. And the reason I want to give you this advice is because, guys, people that are, you know, farmers or they use a trailer occasionally, just, you know, maybe around the house, like imagine their situation. They want to buy a used trailer. They're not going out to Hotshot, but they still have the same 26,001 pound GCWR threshold. Even if you're using your trailer around the house, if your GCWR, that's your truck sticker added with your trailer sticker, if that is over 26,000 pounds, you need a CDL. And that's even if you're using it around the house. So imagine yourself you know maybe you need a trailer for the house for the farm and you need a new sticker to not have to go get a cdl this is how you do it all right guys that's gonna do it comment below what do you think about my solution it's kind of a basic solution but i think it's really important because there's a lot of farmers and people that maybe went from a single wheel to a dually that now puts them into cdl range and so down rating the trailer is the only logical thing to do so comment below and i'll see you guys in the next video i gotta go unload this thing